Okay, in this video, I want to show you how we set up a start button to control the VFD instead of using the keypad here. So if we look at the manual, uh, the parameter 46 in basic parameters will allow us to do that. And to do that, we want to go, we want to activate the digital terminal block. Okay, so we have our start source 2, and this is pre-wired for us. So to do this, I'm going to scroll down to 46. I can select here. I want to go digital terminal block, or I can just put two in here, and that will change it. So I can do this either way, as long as I know what parameter I'm looking for. The value here makes it a little bit easier because it gives you that information. So I'll hit enter here. It will become a two. I'll show my non-default. So here are all the parameters that I've put in here. I will come over here. I will download this to the VFD. I'll finish it up. If I come over here, I can just activate the start button here, and it's running. As soon as I turn it off, it goes down to zero. Okay? Now, the speed that this is based on at this point is going to be based on the keypad potentiometer here. Okay? So, again, this is just a video showing you how to do two-wire control on the VFD. This is just a basic video on how to use the CCW program to set up a two-wire control on the PowerFlex 525. And for this video, we use the TII Technical Education Systems Model ACD 525 PowerFlex 525 trainer. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button.